Hi, this is Will Matheson, and welcome to Let's Play Final Fantasy Mystic Quest. I know, I know, I know. Corny, corny, easy game, but hey. It's got some good points, and for technology reasons, this is going to be one of the first Let's Plays I'm going to try, because there are no random encounters. And the method I'm using to record these movies is a string of button presses basically saved as a quote-unquote movie in the emulators at SNES. And I can actually play back those sequences of button presses and have them rendered as a video frame by frame. And that's very handy because it's not... It doesn't really matter how fast my computer is, and I'm doing this on a laptop. But if I want to do a game that has random encounters, um, and so it's kind of like, it's going to be different every time you play, I need to actually record the video of my computer live as I'm playing. That, through screencasting techniques. That's a little more technical than I want to get into right at the moment, so I'm just going to start with this. Anyway, so my village has been destroyed. Oh, gee, that's... that... Can I say sucks? I, I, I don't know, I'm just kinda... This is my first time doing this, and you're like, Oh, man, I think I'm gonna do so much better than these other guys. <laughs> it's friggin' hard, you're on the mic and it's live, and I'm going through the dialogue a little quickly. It's, you know, you save the world again, the crystals, earth, fire, water, wind. Ooh, look out, a monster! Ah, it's got big horns! It's a behemoth! Ah! Oh, we've got no magic! And no items! What are we gonna do? Well, oh, it's attacking me with the horn. Six? Okay, oh, okay, that's not so bad. That's not so bad. Critical hit! Alright! Now, this works both ways. He can get a critical hit on you, and and if you're not doing the same with him, and it, and it's totally by chance, there's no real skill involved. In fact, there's hardly any skill involved in this game at all. There's a little bit, but it's, uh, if you know how to play RPGs, you will murder this game. And, but you actually probably would sit through and do it. He's shrugging his shoulders, you're gonna see that a lot. What was I saying? About the... Ha. Huh. Right, about the uh, battle. Yeah, so he can actually annihilate you, and... But that's not too bad, because you, when you get annihilated in this game, it doesn't necessarily mean game over, unless you want it to be game over. And it'll ask you, do you give up, yes or no? So, you know, it's alright, you can just replay that battle again and again until you win, and it shouldn't really take you more than twice. It, but it has happened to me that that uh, behemoth has wiped me out. And, you know, through no fault of my own, there's not really, not really that much I could do unless I could anticipate when he was going to give me a critical hit and then select defend instead of, t instead of attack, but that's really my only option. Okay. Well, that's real informative. You know, you want to tell me where the crystal of the earth is, you know? Fly me there? You seem to be able to fly. You want to pick me up and we'll go over these trees? Hmm. Okay, yeah, we can do that. Push B to jump over the old man. Okay. Alright. I don't know why that would interest her. Um, aren't you gonna go to town? No? Alright. Got some cure potions. Could use them now, but no need to. Really. But there you go. If you want to use them, that's how. Awfully gray place. A lot of old people around here. Maybe it's some kind of retirement home. Retirement village. Oh, we all turn into old people eventually, got man. Sir? Dude? Okay. Oh, ooh, Kaylee's house already. I was lucky. Hey! We found Kaylee! 
okay. Yeah, you're gonna come along with a total stranger, right? Ah, we give her the tree weather, okay. I wonder if it's possible to actually get here without getting the tree weather. Because you would have to push the boulder. But could you, like, push... Could you jump over the man, push the boulder, and not talk to the... Not, not talk to him, and not get the tree weather? Actually, I should try that! I always like to see if there's ways to, like, sort of do things that you're not... in a way that you're not intended to do in a game. Uh, it's kind of a very... a very low level of rebellious tendency. But that's me, I'm a born rebel. Boy, she's got nicer armor than we do, too. I mean, what's going on? Nicer weapon, nicer armor, she's level three, and her mom was worried <laughs> that we'd take her somewhere dangerous. I, I think I would be worried about the other way around. Oh, I've got Kaylee on auto. Oh, that's no good. I want her on manual. Huh. I hope I put her on manual. Put that with her axe. She axed it, okay. Huh. Yeah, you see, when they're on auto, the computer just acts... Oh, okay, I switched her... Okay, I must have... My finger must have slipped on the Y button. That's how you switch between auto and manual. But the... They tend to do unspeakable things when your um, second player there is on uh, auto, so keep her on manual. I used my character, my weaker character, William, to attack the slime because I figured it would probably have fewer HP, fewer hit points than the uh, those brownies. So I let Kaylee attack the brownies, and there I discovered, oh, you can not only defend, use the defend command on yourself, but also on your partner. Yeah, so always always go for the one-hit kills. That's that's a good rule, just about any game you're playing. Save the game, and, uh... Alright, well, that's all for this episode. See you next time.